definitively knows what they are, but people can speculate, and believe you me, they do. They're really getting regular visitors, apparently, from other planets. Do you believe that? Well, here are some of the more bemusing UFO cases on record. Case number five. In January 1958, a research team off the island of Trindad off the coast of Brazil snapped a handful of images of a UFO approaching the island they were based on. Several eyewitnesses on the team backed up the photographer's claim and despite many attempts to seek out the doctoring of the photos, none were found, giving this case some legitimacy. Weird UFO fact number four. In 1977, the Brazilian island of Colares, where an outbreak of UFO sightings occurred, which coincided with the residents gaining mysterious burn marks and puncture wounds, allegedly the UFOs attacked the people with intense beams of radiation. The Brazilian government set up a task force to investigate called Operation Saucer. It didn't last long, and the files remain classified. Hmm. Weird UFO fact number three. 1952, two radar towers picked up some unusual readings. Knowing that there were no aircraft in that area at the time made it really suspicious. An air traffic controller described that the readings were moving with such sudden bursts of intense speed. A fighter jet sent to intercept before having the tables turned on them. The shaken pilot asked if he should open fire before the objects left the scene. Mm, these pesky UFOs, you can never catch them. Weird UFO fact number two. Just last year in the backwoods of Mississippi, a deer camera caught a bizarre scene of what appeared to be two parallel beams of light catching the attention of the deer in shot before seemingly lifting off the ground and flying away. The lights were too high off the ground to be a car. Some speculate it's a government drone, whilst others believe this was a visitor from outer space. Weird UFO fact number one. By far one of the most mysterious and eerie UFO instances in history happened on the 21st of October 1978. Young Australian pilot Frederick Valentrick was on a training flight when he reported back to air traffic control about a mysterious aircraft flying above him, giving off a green light and metallic in design. It would disappear and then reappear. Then Valentrick would say, it's hovering and it's not an aircraft. Those were the last words of Valentrick in the transmission, and he quite literally disappeared off the face of the earth, never to be seen or heard again. That was your Weird World Fives for this week, and if you have any of your own, well, be sure to pop them in the comments below. And if you want to see more videos like this one, please subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching, and talk to you next time.